it's really come to life over the past couple of weeks because there's been a couple of important decisions fields in every single game. Do you still feel it's the right way for football to go? Yeah, if, 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 well, before the, the World Cup, I would have waited for the next World Cup to, to have it perfect because the people who don't like it would be waiting to say, oh, it's, it's in its infancy mm. still. I think it's I think it's been brilliant. I thought it was very unfair the other day at Didi Hammond as a pal of mine and, and Alan Shearer, I know, was against it before he even uh, saw what it was about. Uh, that it was a bad day one of the days the other day for VAR. There's no doubt about it. The, the so this was the, the Spain, decision. Portugal, Iran. Hmm? This was the night of Iran, Spain. No, uh, it was just the other night where the the, the penalty decision. Remember the the the, the fullback jumped and he hit the ball accidentally, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there was a couple of decisions which which were wrong. I mean, it, it, I don't think it was a penalty. Uh, it was a bad night. Uh, and everybody picked on that. What did we do? There was 27 matches before that, which were good. And, and, and especially, especially the next day, the match, uh, who was it the other day? Germany they, and South Korea. South Korea. I mean, I mean, most people who are listening to us probably watched the match. South Korea got, scored the goal, the first goal. Now, I thought he was definitely offside. You have to, you have to uh, eliminate that goal. So it went to, and it turned out, the ball hit between the Germans' legs. And he wasn't offside. Mm. Now the referee couldn't see. Nobody could see that, right? If that hadn't been for VAR, that match, that goal would have been disallowed and and and, what, and totally shown the referee up, uh, because we would have seen it on the television as a replay, right? And we would have seen. Uh, what, so it was going against the referee. What's happening at the moment? It's actually helping the referees ninety nine percent of the time, in my opinion. But that particular referee, he was able. To, he didn't see it. He he gave the offside. Go to VAR. So, well, that, yeah. I said, okay, that's, I made a mistake. No baller. It stands, and it's an important goal. And there were other decisions made in the competition. And I think no, no coincidence that there was more penalties in this competition than ever before. I keep seeing it in the pay more penalties, but nobody's saying, well, most of that is down to the VAR. There's no doubt about it. And I think it'll get better, Nathan. This is the first time it's been in a World Cup. It's the first time it was in, in, in the Premiership this yeah. year in some of the matches. And it's in its infancy. It'll get better and better, I think, as it goes along because it'll eliminate some of the things. One thing I'd like to see about VAR is to be proactive in the pushing and pushing and, and, and all the things around the penalty area. The penalty area. We've seen a couple of decisions where VAR have got involved, but the vast majority, it seems, they haven't. And they haven't. They should be proactive. You know, I think what happens with the VAR a lot, that the, 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 the referee has to call for it. Mm. No, I think they, they can be proactive to cite the referee. Look, there's a lot of pushing and pushing. And I tell you, honestly, if they do it for two or three matches, it'll stop it. Because the manager will say to his players, look, don't do it because you're going to give a penalty away or you're going to be booked. Just you can't. Now, at the moment, they're encouraging the players to do it because they can get away with it. Yeah. The opposite will happen. They say, look, whatever you do, don't, and it'll stop it. And it has to be stopped. The other thing that's annoying me a little bit and thing is the players mm. feign an injury. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. They're getting a little push across their face and they're down holding their head. I think what's going to ha should happen now, the referee shouldn't stop the game. Let the game go on. So if they think a player... I, get, I guess that's a difficult thing for a referee because you only need to get badly caught out once and somebody well, is seriously yeah, injured. But it's, like, we, obviously, you can see a serious head injury, in my opinion. Yeah. You can see, and you can see a serious... But they're, they're going down. Somebody's brushing the side of their face and they're going down. You saw the, the Portuguese lad who was, at, mm. it was a, 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 a tough nut. Yeah, in the, and he got a little, back and he's down. They're all doing it now, and every time, and they're really rolling around. Actually, you ever see them rolling around and stamping the ground? <laughs> now, my experience as a player, when you get a bad knock, the last thing you do is roll around. Yeah, you're in too much pain. You're, you're too much pain. You just want to stay, stay still, and you want to see them rolling around in that. And I think if the, the majority of them, anyway, if the referee said, "Now we'll play on," they're up and about. They're, I see them. They're getting down, getting treatment, and two minutes later. They're up running around. But anyway, it's just a, a, a irritating and I yeah. think it should be stopped. And probably on a similar point, a couple, and maybe these are a couple of things that they can work on ahead of the next World Cup and heading into the tournaments next season. The appealing for VAR, constant appealing for VAR from players, yeah, you'd but, assume... But that'll stop, Nathan. You see, what, what, what should come into with that? It should, it should be uh, recognised by the player. If you go to the referee, mm. he's going to book you straight yeah. away. No, so, see, everything is habit in football, you know? Players 
are being allowed, when there's a penalty decision given against them, they're around the, the crowd. And, and, and people complain about the time in between. But if you take the time when there's a penalty decision given, it's controversial, and the players get around the referee, how long does it take to sort that out? Yeah, because they're pushing them here, they're pushing them there, and they're pushing them there. You're now they're rushing to them to go to go to VAR, yeah. right? But they, they shouldn't be allowed to approach the referee. If if the, 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 any of the players come over, if it's two or three players, you book them. Yeah, or you send one of them off. And they just and need they, to start doing that. They stop it. This, everything in football is, is habit, and they've been in the habit of challenging everything that the referees players have, and they got away with it, right? Now if they start it now with the VAR, say if you approach the referee, you're going to be booked. The captain can approach the referee, right? Because the ref they run the referee for everything now. Like when the goal was, was called before it was it, it was controversial, they run the referee. Couldn't re- you're waiting two or three minutes to, to 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 clear it up? But they can stop all that. But it, I think there's nothing sure. In four years' time, when we play in the next World Cup, it'll be. I think it'll be perfect. 